Well, last night's storm was crazy. Um, as you can see, the cabin took on some pretty serious damage. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I guess we got to get outside and have a look and see what else got damaged. Equipment. Oh my goodness. My trailer was over there. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm getting strings of good luck and then strings of bad luck. Nothing in between, really. Trees falling down. And this morning looks... Looks pretty nice out, but um, let's go see. Check. Oh, we better check on the chickens. Oh no! Where's my chickens? They've all run away. Eggs are intact though. Fallen trees everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's going to be a long day today, I think. Um, those damages to the cabin look pretty bad. I'm concerned I might not be able to stay there. Okay, let's, just, let's have a look. Um, well, let's see, is my tractor okay? Tractor looks good. Okay, so I think that's that's huge. Um, fields still growing. Got a tree that fell on the field. And not too bad over here. A couple of fallen trees. Ah, okay. All right. All right. We are resilient. Again, I hope. Oh, good news is, looks like the sorghum is coming up pretty quickly, so that's fantastic. It's May. Um, it's pretty early in the morning. Let's go take a look over here. See what we have. This might need some fertilizing. Maybe some weeds. Okay, I'm glad I cleared this already. Uh, less trees to clean up. So, okay. Well, first order of business, I guess, is we got to figure out how to clear up some of those trees. Um, I hope nobody in town got hurt. I'm okay. Uh, he came down on top of the cabin during the night. Uh, I managed to avoid uh, getting injured, uh, but I could not sleep under. I could not sleep under that that tree <laughs> that's coming through. So um, I've been up. I've been up for a while, um, and now that the sun's come up, I can really see the damage. So I was hoping to do a little. Uh, mowing and bailing today. Um, try to generate some more funds. Looks like I will be selling some lumber. So let's get on with it. I guess there's no other way really. 
Uh, as for tonight and where I'm going to stay, um, I don't think I'll be able to get this repaired. And uh, I don't feel safe in there. So I'll focus on trees that are in the roads. Um, see if we can get our fields cleared up. See if there's any damage to the crops. And take it from there. All right, let's see if we can move some trees. I don't really want to process them right now. I don't think I have that patience, but... I'm gonna need that. Um, not sure how I'm gonna get that. It's upside down. No, I don't think I can load it. Um, let's see if I can shove it over. Get this, get this wind rower out of the way for now. Just move it up a little bit. We'll just put that right there. We'll see if I can just tip it over by pushing it. Not the most uh, elegant way, but I don't really have any other tools to be able to pick that up and flip it over. But let's see what we can do. Flip over. Okay, that's a start. That's a start. Like I said, this is not elegant at all. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, right, let's see if I can go find a stick or something and see if I can prop it up. Maybe this branch right here might work. Let's cut it here. And let's see what we can do with this guy. Um, move the tractor out of the way. Looks like it got a little bent. Okay, let's give it a good heave out. Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Stuck. Now the stick is stuck in there. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, let's um, let's get rid of that. There we go. Get rid of that guy too. All right, mission accomplished. Now what I want to do is I just want to move move trees out of the way. Um, I'm not so worried about processing them uh, as I am getting them cleared up. So I can access my... Oops, that was close. Come on. There we go. Not sure if I've got enough weight in the back to be able to lift this up, but we'll find out. Be lifted. All right. 
Let's see if we can move that. Yeah, this is gonna work. That's good. Move this out of the way. Having some problems. Looks like it got damaged in the process. Okay. Oh. This isn't working out very well. Let's see if we can just shove it right over here. Brute force. That should do it. Not elegant at all. Got this guy over here to take care of. Put him over here with the other one. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of these trees cleared up. Um, low, I don't think I'm going to move the trees. Well, I guess I need to free up. I guess I need to free up that um, harvester. I hope it's not damaged. I just fixed it all up. Give it a nice cleaning. Let's see what we can do with this guy. The angle is not very good. Will we be able to grab this? Was interesting. Yeah, this thing's not working well. I'm not sure why that's happening. Up we go. this over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Our fork has gone crazy. Okay, I gotta get, it's broken. I can't use that. Well, it just dropped. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to have to plug away here. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, I got to get all my equipment out. It's going to take a while. But I did get a couple of trees out of the way. I did free up the, the harvester, so I'm going to actually move the harvester right now in case this other guy falls down. Uh, rest in peace, chickens. I, I hope they actually, you know, took off and uh, are safe somewhere. Maybe they'll come back. Let's get this guy out of here. It's still running, so that's a good sign. Um... I guess we'll just maybe put it over here for now. There may be more trees coming down in a bit, but that's that's damaged. I think that's beyond repair. Just when we were starting to make money. Um, yeah. Okay. 
uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm going to clean up some more, try to organize my stuff, make some decisions on how to proceed. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, guys. Be in a bit. Okay, so we got one tree that came down on the, on the canola field. Um, I hope there isn't much crop damage. Um, let's try to get this thing out of here. This guy over here. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a bit of crop damage, but nothing, nothing too serious. Um. Fortunately, the crop is still young, so it handled it pretty well. Um, okay. Uh, some more, another tree down over there. One over there. Well, <laughs> saves us a step a little bit later, chopping it down. Okay, so that's good. So. Um, I think we're okay. I did a little run around, um, and I think we're okay for clearing the roads and such. Um, I got a couple of problems I need to deal with today. Uh, obviously, uh, this is looking great. Um, I do want to keep the money process going, um, mainly because... I need money now, more money than ever. I have a feeling I'm going to need a new home. I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight. Um, I might be sleeping outside. Uh, I do, I think I have a tent, an old tent lying around, so I might set that up somewhere. Uh, hopefully no more bad weather is coming. Uh, in the meantime, I need some money. So um, I'm, I'm looking at those two areas um, where I think I will be putting in some fields later, and I'm thinking I'm going to try to get those mowed and baled and wrapped today. Um, that should... that's Those are good-sized fields, so that should give us um, a few bucks uh, tomorrow, I guess. So, why don't I get on with that? I'll see if I can find that tent. Find a spot to set it up. Uh, well away from this area. Th this area here looks like it took the, the brunt, brunt of the damage. Um, no idea about other places. We'll find out later, I guess, when we're driving around. Yeah, let's put this guy away. Right side up. And... I hope our other equipment isn't damaged. The baler looked okay. My mower seems good. So here's what I'm going to do. And this is what I wanted to do at the beginning. Uh, I just couldn't do it with the other tractor. Because I'm going to mow and bale um, at the same time. That'll save, save some time. Let's go this way, actually. Those are good fields, so we'll be able to get a decent amount of bales. And I'm just going to do them roughly. I'm not going to try to make a nice, nice field yet. Um, I'm just going to start mowing and keep going until I get fed up a bit, I guess. Let's start with this guy here. And uh, let's extend that. All right. Let's get going. Where 
we're gonna mow and mow and mow. I like this method. Um, works pretty well. I mean, it does take quite a while, but knocks out, you know, turns two steps into one. And um, with this method, you really don't have to windrow either, so. Pretty effective. Now this is going to take a while, so I, uh, well, we should have many bales. We have lots and lots of bales. Now this is going to be our big money maker. Um, I think, realistically, our next step will be to find a new home. And um, those aren't cheap, so it might take a little while to get built. In the meantime, we'll just try to uh, raise some money. I would love to get one of those nice fast balers. Uh, with this combo it would be incredible. getting a little difficult here. Uh, these bushes are too much. Uh, I won't be able to mow much more over here. So I'm just going to finish up over on that side a bit and uh, then I'll get the wrapper and we'll get to work wrapping what we, what we have. Uh, I won't be able to mow over there. It's way too bushy. So it'll just be a waste of time. Let's carry on. And we're almost done with this area here. Maybe another bale, maybe. Not sure. We'll see if we can figure out how to scrounge up one more bale. These bushes make it very challenging. The mower doesn't like them at all. Um, so I think if we're going to be bailing in the future, we need to make a proper uh, grass field. Um, not sure where yet. I'm not sure if this will be it. We'll see. All right, let's see if we can find a little bit more grass somewhere. I mean, we can always mow over here. It won't hurt. Um, yeah, why not? Just the bushes aren't very friendly. There we go. All right, we're done. We're done. I have to remember that hidden bale. All right, let's head back. We'll pick up the, the wrapper. We'll get all this wrapped. Uh, day's moving along quite well. Um, 
while I was out bailing, um, I was I was mentioning in the previous episode there were some people that dropped by uh, looking for work, and one of the things um, that happened this morning while I was bailing is uh, a few of the, those people came over, and uh, uh, you know knew there was a storm that came through last night and there was some damage and came over and offered to help uh, at no charge um, to uh, deal with my home. Um, it's done. We had a closer look and it is uh, not usable anymore. Uh, so we have to take that down and uh, maybe we'll repurpose some of the wood. Oh. It's a little sharp. But we need a new home, so that's that's probably the most important thing we can do now. Um, since it's May, weather's pretty good. Oh, the trailer's back there. I didn't realize that. Um, let's, let's get a better view here on a backup camera. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sorry, got interrupted. I squirreled. Come on. There we go. Uh, bail wrapper, which is undamaged. So, anyways, those people came over. They offered to help. Uh, I took them up on it. And uh, as soon as I'm done with the wrapping, we're going to get to work together and uh, take care of that hat. So, wrapping shouldn't take much longer. Uh, what I will do is let them ferment on the field, so I won't pick them up today. And I think if I'm going to be bailing, I really want one of those fast bail, um, fast bailers, the ones that wrap and do everything on the fly without having to stop. Those things are fantastic. I love them. Alright, let's get wrapping. And that's the last bail. All right, put this away. We're gonna leave these out here to uh, ferment by themselves. Uh, we won't be mowing the lower part there. Um, it's just too many bushes. Bushes are challenging. All right, let's head back. Uh, those folks were going to come over and help me, so uh, let's see if they've arrived. Well, we're done. Um, I'm feeling a little sad, I'm not going to lie. Um, that little cabin has served me well. Uh, all gone. Chicken coop as well. Um... No sign of the chickens anywhere. I, I took a walk, had to look around. Um, can't see them. I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I uh, feel a little sad about that. I hope they're okay. Now we're left with just a yard here. And um, fortunately, everything's cleaned up. All of the trees are gone uh, that have fallen. Um, I did uh, make a few bucks on some of the uh, salvage, I guess. Um, and I let the, uh, the, uh, helpers, people that came out to help me, uh, I let them sell, uh, whatever wood they, they hauled away. So I have nowhere to live. Um, I'm going to have to come up with something, but I did find an old tent. I'm going to set that up. Let me just get it from the track tractor. Okay. Okay. We're done. That's home.
a little bit of a downgrade. Uh, that wasn't the most beautiful home that I was living in before, but uh, certainly was a lot better than this. So, yeah. All right. Um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, let's um, let's have a look what the things look like from the sky. So there's our yard, and uh, that is our wheat field. Uh, I was growing this to feed the chickens, so no chickens, so not sure what I'm going to do with this wheat. Um, and then the canola field is over here. We can see there's been some, there's been a little bit of crop damage, not too much from that fallen tree. That was all, that tree was all cleared out. Uh, our newest field is uh, growing sorghum, and that's doing well. Probably going to need some pesticides on this after a while. And then we mowed that area and um, created some bales. So we're going to generate some money. We, we have to build a new home, and um, I would like to put a field in here as well as one uh, further over. I think our home is going to be in here somewhere, so we're a little bit more uh, out in the open, I guess. We'll take down some more trees, clear some things up, and um, yeah, we'll see where this takes us. Big storm, big recovery. Um, we are resilient. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it you know comments the thing about being a very small channel is uh, i can get to all the comments <laughs> yeah, so if you've got some thoughts some ideas um anything that uh, i might learn from you please please share and um i will be happy to respond to you uh, when i get to 100 million subscribers uh, i won't be able to answer them anymore Oh, that might be a little <laughs> in the distance. So I am not Mr. Beast. So anyways, all right, guys, thanks a lot and uh, have an awesome day.